Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration, Monday, January 15, 2024. I pray this morning that the Lord will bless you continually and that He will keep you in all His ways. Our reading today comes to us from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, reading verse 1 to 6. And it says, Dare any of you, having a matter against another, go to law before the unjust and not before the saints? Verse 2, Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matter? Verse 3, Know ye not that we shall judge angels? How much more things that pertains to this life? Verse 4 If then ye have judgments of things pertaining to this life, set them to judge who are least esteemed in the church. I speak to your shame. It is so that there is not a wise man among you, no, not one that shall be able to judge between his brethren. Six and last. But brother goeth to law with brother, and that before the unbelievers. And I say amen. We give God thanks this morning for his word of wisdom. And I pray that as we consider this, this reading, that we will allow the Holy Spirit to guide us in His wisdom in how we are to treat these matters. Now this morning we are admonished, or we are, the question is asked, how do we handle disagreement between each other it's asked the question do we take it to the the unjust or do we take it before the laws of the land or do we handle it ourselves question is asked and it's so interesting because so many of us find it so difficult to handle the smallest of matter we fight amongst ourselves so often we are in disagreement so often and when we we come across those kind of situation where we are at each other's throat we can't seem to come to a resolve as christians and that isn't good that isn't good at all because the bible says that we should be able to judge the smallest of matter so we should be able to work out our differences without trying to to hurt the next person further right we are or we should be responsible people enough to make rational decision fair decisions so that at the end of the day god can be pleased with us in matthew it also encourages that if i have a fault against you or if one of a fault against another then we are supposed to confront that person in a kind way of course and to let them know that whatever they did to us, it hurt us. So we express to them how it made us feel and let them know that we don't appreciate what they have done. And you try to reconcile with the person. Now the scripture says that if that person refused to hear what you have to say, then you can take it to the church or take it 
rather take it to another person so you that person and the person that you have chosen to be a witness and then you try to resolve it again and if you get nowhere with the person then you take it to the church and then if nothing still come of that then the bible says that you should just leave it because what that is going to be their burden to carry and then god will deal with them as he sees fit and so it is very strange and it's very sad you know when i see believers taking other believers to court it is so distasteful because i'm saying we are a part of a family that understand fundamental principles of right and wrong we know about um the moral construct of things and how we are to conduct ourselves as believers and yet still we can't even resolve our differences and here the bible is asking the question don't we know that the time will come when we will judge angels when we will judge the world then if we are going to be given that responsibility to judge angels and when you talk about judge angels it's talking about satan and his angels because scripture tells us not only here that we will be judging them and so if we are going to do that how is it that we can't work our differences and sometimes when you think about the things that you know we we are at each other throats for it is so ridiculous it is it is so you know sometimes i can't even fathom it because i'm like are you serious you're telling me that we are not able to work out this small matter we are not able to come together as brothers and sisters so we find it more easy to attack each other to dislike each other to 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 tear down each other rather than trying to 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 to, to resolve and to reconcile with each other now that is very very bad that is not good and we when we do that we are not setting a good example for the world to follow and jesus is very disappointed when we act it when we act like that right you know in some cultures of the world and some countries i observe that these folks they take each other to court for every single thing you can think of under the sun sometimes i i see these things and i'm like this is so crazy how is it that you're gonna take somebody to court because they owe you 500 dollars or because they do this and they do that and is not so much of a big deal than the person is making out to be but you know because that is the culture then it is widely accepted and so parents taking children to court children taking parents to court friends taking and it it, it, it is just out of this world it is wild and i'm saying oh god we are so unforgiving unmerciful you know we just want to execute punishment when people offend us we're not willing to show them mercy we're not willing to forgive and the scripture this morning is asking us a bunch of questions because it realized that we are in a state that 
it cannot continue as you know it cannot be business as usual so it keeps asking the question so we are willing to take our matter before the unbelievers before the unjust in order for them to help us to reconcile rather than trying to reconcile amongst ourselves with the help of the holy spirit you see how funny that is it is so strange so i want to encourage somebody today i know sometimes you know we have our disagreements and as the saying goes teeth and tongue will meet you know we don't always agree we don't always see eye to eye but that is not always a bad thing we must learn to respect each other's differences and we must learn to be forgiven and if you have a problem with someone learn to pray about it learn to pray about it and try to resolve it with the person and move on with your life and stop allowing these things to rip us apart as believers let's do better than that brethren and friends we can do better the word of god has so many wonderful guidance that we can follow and so let us not take it for granted so i pray this morning that as we think about this word that we will allow the holy spirit to help us to humble ourselves to be more kind to be more unselfish to be more respectful to be more mindful of each other and i tell you that we will see a lot more difference positive difference as we continue to work together for the cause of god may god continue to bless you my friends and keep you as we journey along this life amen